the denominator, and this time we're going to factor a trinomial where a does not equal 1. So for the bottom, guys, I'm going to be sliding and dividing for all factoring from here on out. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply a times c, put that b value at the top, and numbers that multiply to a negative 6 but combine to make a positive 1 is going to be a 3 and a negative 2. And then don't forget, you got to go back and slide or, or divide by the a value. So draw a fraction bar and divide by that a value. So in factored form, this is what the fraction looks like. Just recopy in the numerator. The denominator is going to be 2x plus 3 and then x minus 1. Any questions on those factors? Once they're factored, now you can state the restrictions. So I know that x cannot equal a positive 1. And then over here, I'll algebraically solve for the restriction for this time. So remember, 2x plus 3 cannot equal 0. So I'm going to move the 3 over. I'm just going to solve for the letter x. Divide both sides by a 2. I know x cannot equal a negative 3 halves. So these two are my restrictions. If you guys do slide and divide and you choose to do that for your factoring, your restrictions are always going to be opposite on what is the side parts of your organizer here. So notice a negative 2 divided by a positive 2 is a negative 1. This is a negative 1. There's the opposite. Here's 3 halves. And then there's the opposite. So that's another way to get your restrictions. Um, all right, back to the fraction. If you notice, we have 2x plus 3 that cancels out. When everything cancels out in the numerator, the 1 is left over. The number 1 is left over. So the simplified fraction is going to be 1 over x minus 1. And remember, we have two restrictions. X cannot equal a positive 1. Also, X cannot equal a negative 3 halves. 